Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya from Dr. Dikshit Clinic. I'm a dermatologist in private practice from the last 15 years. How is facial pigmentation treated? In the last segment, we heard about what are all the various causes of facial pigmentation. It could be melasma, it could be frictional hyperpigmentation, it could be post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or it could be acanthosis nigricans. So of course, we want to customize the treatment protocol according to the cause of the pigmentation itself. But there are some basic principles that we follow when we come to treatment of pigmentation. The first thing is choose a very gentle cleanser. This is very important because once the skin is pigmented, it means that there is some kind of irritation which is going on in the epidermis, which is going to worsen if you are going to use a harsh face wash or a toner. So my suggestion is use the sulfate free soap free cleanser to wash your face and use hyaluronic acid based moisturizer generously on your face twice a day. It is very important to use a good broad spectrum sunscreen of minimum 50 SPF and it has to be used frequently once at 9 and reapplied every 3 hours even if you are indoors. If you have pigmentation please remember not to skip this step. And usually a combination of a topical uh, hydroquinone based cream or a topical retinoid based cream, azelic acid based cream or a vitamin C based creams are tried depending on what is the primary cause of the pigmentation. You have to remember that these creams often take for up to 6 to 8 weeks to show any minimum change in the pigment itself. Additional treatments such as oral antioxidants, oral vitamin C can be added to reduce the pigment load from internally. I also suggest to our patients some treatments such as lifestyle modification, stopping smoking, eating more brightly colored fruits and vegetables to increase the antioxidant intake. Exercise also reduces the amount of weight and helps to bring a healthy glow to the skin. If these treatments don't work, of course we have to rely on our treatments such as chemical peels and carbon lasers or Q-switched NDAG lasers to help lighten out the skin tone. If the pigmentation is, is epidermal, chemical peels will help significantly, especially in post-acne scars for example. If the pigmentation is because of a thickening of the skin, then medium depth chemical peels like TCA peels can help, like in the case of acanthosis nigricans. But if the pigmentation is deeper, and like in the case of a lichen planus pigmentosis or in a melasma, the patient may need a combination of Q-switched NDAG lasers. All these treatments have to be done with the support of all the treatments like the sunscreens and the face wash which I mentioned earlier to get a better and sustained result. To understand more about pigmentation treatments, speak to your dermatologist today.